observations is very important throughout the session. So uh, I have everyone on mute to avoid background noises uh, that may disturb you from your listening to this webinar. So far, uh, you can enter your questions and comments in the question box uh, throughout the presentation. Uh, if you have it, uh, rather asking the person, you can also use on this control panel to raise your hand to indicate that you have a questions or comments. At the end of the presentation, uh, we will unmute your line so that you can ask your question. And all events are recorded and live in our Facebook page. Now, this is the time to invite the uh, reporter, Dr. Andy Jewel Rana, Western uh, Pediatric Unit, uh, Central Medical College Hospital, for guiding this webinar. Dr. Jewel Rana, thank you. Thank you, Dr. Raja. Thank you for joining us today. Scientific seminar. Scientific seminar. medical unit, education unit, Mool Koti Bar Dugisho Guru Vishthaban Kar. Amra Tashamonde Aske Pratamay Ki Jane Nibo. Adhapok Dr. Nasiruddin Mahamud. Adhapok Obibagiyo Pradhan. Sajjari Vibag Central Medical College Kumilla. Jini Vyajad Dushale Kumilla Medical College Theke MBBS. Abang Vyajad Rakshale Bangladesh College of Physicians and Surgeons Theke. Sajjari Te FCPS Degree Lab. Vyajad Unishale Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons Hote. FRCS along with the Bishale American College of Surgeons for the FSCS degree origin. Evijon to Deshi, Avo Bideshi Janalata, Tasty Governor of Pakashi. And then I the Mulpati with the Vishay to Lachi, Tinias, the management of So again, uh, dear participant, Assalamu Alaikum. I am going to present my part, the management of gallstone disease and update. This seminar is organized by Progressive Medical Education Unit on courtesy of Tablet Artso. Our today's scientific partner is Square Pharmaceuticals Limited. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I am Professor Dr. Nasruddin Mahamud, working as a professor and head of the department, Sardari Central Medical College, Kumilla. Now I am going to present my part. First of all, anatomy of the gallbladder. The gallbladder is a pear shaped organ. It has fundus, body, and neck. And normal capacity of the gallbladder is 50 ml. The most important anatomical landmark is the cystohepatic triangle or triangle of cal calot, which is bounded by uh, superiorly inferior surface of the liver, inferiorly and uh, inferiorly uh, the cystic duct and neck of the gallbladder, medially common hepatic duct. This triangle is very important uh, to the surgeon uh, during cholecystectomy because uh, to achieve the critical view of safety, the CBS is the main part to perform a safe cholecystectomy. And because this critical view of safety helps the surgeon to achieve to see the cystic artery, cystic node, and right hepatic artery properly. So, oil visualization of this triangle during dissection helps the surgeon to perform a safe cholecystectomy.
now we see the picture of professor kuldeep singh from punjab the professor of surgery i met with him in philippine in a asian surgical congress where he told in his speech that laparoscopic cholecystectomy is a difficult operation so an experienced surgeon who performed more than 10000 laparoscopic cholecystectomy but uttered one sentence it is a difficult operation why the answer first of all the anomalous position of the and condition of the gallbladder sometimes it is double sometimes absent sometimes double may arise from different location sometimes there is frisian cap sometimes uh, there is uh, origin of uh, insertion of the cystic duct this variety sometimes puzzle the surgeon during operation another variation in the origin of the cystic artery sometimes it arises from the common hepatic artery sometimes it arises from the right hepatic artery even sometimes celiac trunk even in the aorta so this variation sometimes produce excessive bleeding during operation which may puzzle a an experienced and an inexperienced surgeon another variation is the origin of the ectopic drainage of the cystic duct that also may produce biliary leakage in post operatively and last of all the variation in the confluence of the cystic artery and bile duct that is the another ambiguous situation for the surgeons where sometimes gallbladder directly open into the common hepatic duct the main function of the gallbladder is mainly three reserve it is a reservoir of bile and when we uh, take uh, fatty meal after contraction uh, the uh, gallbladder become emptied and bile uh, excreted from it concentration of the bile it can concentrate bile 5 to 10 times and secretion of mucus daily 20 ml secretion uh, mucus is secreted from the gallbladder gallstone are the most common biliary pathology Cholecystectomy is the second commonest surgical procedure in the abdomen in the Western world, and only ten percent gallstones are radiopaque. And sometimes gallstone contain gas. This gas may give the picture of Mercedes Benz or Seagal appearance on radiograph. The historical background from when the gallbladder disease started. Alexander of Trelas, a physician of Byzantine Emperor, was the first mm -hmm. to mention gallstones. describing calcula in the human livers and our oldest physical evidence of human gallstone are the 30 stones in intact gallbladder of a mummified egyptian priestess from around 15000 before 1500 before christmas so egyptian mummy also contain gallstones types of gallstone there are three types of gallstone first of cholesterol stone in the western countries 75% gallstones are cholesterol gallstone and gallbladder biliary slugs are the precursor of this stone cholesterol stone is usually not associated with infection of the bile and most of the cholesterol stones are radiolucent and they are usually well detected by the ultrasonography they are usually solitary though when they are solitary they are large but mm. they may be multiple Okay. Here we have removed a gall stone. I can't afford to eat it. Why? Cholesterol stone. I love it. Because we removed uh, it from a lady who was uh, sufferer from the, from a hypercholesterolemia, and there uh, he uh, she has main uh, many uh, symptoms of hypercholesterolemia. Another uh, stone is mixed stone. Mixed stone is associated associated with biliary tract infection, and ninety percent stones. in our country are the mixed stone cholesterol is the main component of this stone and other component calcium bilirubinate calcium phosphate calcium carbonate calcium palmitate and potassium they are usually associated with 3m mixed multiple and multifaceted here we removed some multifaceted mixed stones pigment stones are common in east asia and 60% is those in japan composed of entirely calcium bilirubinate mostly small multiple irregular dark green or black in color some are hard coral like whereas they are soft these are the mixed stone we removed uh, these stones from a 6 years girl 
the incidence of gallstones, a fat, fertile, flatulent female of 50, that is 5F, is the classical sufferer of symptomatic gallstone. Cholelithiasis occur in both sexes from childhood to centenarian. So, gallstones are an extremely common condition occurring approximately 10 to 20 year, uh, percent of the adult population. It has been marked raise incidence in the Western country like in like Europe and highest in the Sweden, 38 percent. There is an increased prevalence of gallstone in female and the frequency of gallstone increases with the age of both sexes. There are some factors that producing lithogenic bile. This lithogenic bile is the precursor of gallstone. The lithogenic bile may form in the elderly person, female sex, contraceptive pill, obesity, certain drugs like chlorofibrate. Estrogen is a factor that causes bile stasis. Ultimately, the bile may be concentrated and uh, the lithogenic bile is formed. Factors that interrupt the enterohepatic circulation of the bile salt, like ileal disease or massive resection of the ilia. The pathogenesis of gallstone, how gallstone is formed? First of all, metabolic. Cholesterol is usually insoluble in water, but it is soluble in bile by the detergent action of bile salt and phospholipids. They where it forms micelle. In normal bile, the bile salt and cholesterol ratio is one is to 10. Here, cholesterol is protective for gallbladder mucosa and bile salt or bile acid is injurious to gallbladder mucosa. If cholesterol fragment is reduced, the bile acid inju causes injury to the mucosa that harbors bacteria and forms stone in future. So if the bile salt and cholesterol ratio is one is to 10, that is cholesterol fragment is increased, uh, sorry, one, 13 is to one, that is the bile salt fragment is increased or it, it may be one is to 30, that is cholesterol fragment is in, increased. This is called lithogenic bile. And this abnormal bile may form stone in future. Another cause is infective. A moniham aphorism is a gallstone is a tomb stone erected in the memory of the organism within it. That is, if there is cholecystitis or cholangitis, bile is become infected and from that infective source, the stone may be formed. Another factor is stasis, like after vagotomy, hyperestrogen therapy, oral contraceptive pill. This causes stasis of the bile. This stasis causes concentration of the bile, ultimately inverts stone formation. Hyperbilirubinemia, that is another factor to form pigment stone. And pigment stone is associated with hemolysis. We know in hemolysis, there is hemoglobin breakdown, uh, formation of excessive bilirubin. This excessive bilirubin may occur in hereditary spherocytosis, sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, malaria, mechanical destruction of red cell by prosthetic valve. And pigment stone found in the duct of patient with benign or malignant bile duct stricture. In oriental countries, uh, parasitic infestation may cause stone formation, pigment stone, clonorgis sinensis or ascaris lambricoides. So how the gallstone disease present? Main symptom, the symptomatology of gallstone varied. It, is, it may be acute, chronic, silent or incidental findings. Symptom occur patients uh. typically complain of colicky pain in the right hypochondrium or epigastrium and radiating to the back. Other symptoms include dyspepsia, flatulence, food intolerance, particularly fats, and some alteration of bowel frequency. Biliary colic is typically present 10 to 25% of patients. The sign is mainly they may present with the pain in between the shoulder bed where they feel hyperesthesia is termed as boas sign. And there may be, in acute cases, there may be Murphy's sign and in chronic cases, Murphy's sign is usually absent. And sometimes patient taps his hand, that pain is in the right coastal arch, that is called Ortner's sign. Now, if gallstone is formed, what are the effects of this gallstone? This gallstone may produce something in the gallbladder, something in the bile duct and something in the intestine. In the gallbladder, they may be silent. 
asymptomatic stone, chronic cholecystitis, repeated attack of cholecystitis. They may present with acute attack of cholecystitis. Sometimes neck may be obstructed and causes gangrene, perforation, and empyema mucosal. And in one person, gallstone may transformed into carcinoma. That is metaplasia take place in this place, in this situation. So in bile duct, uh, it causes, first of all, one of the stone may slip into the gallbladder uh, bile duct. Uh, that, uh, that is a secondary stone in the bile duct. And obstruct the bile duct causes obstructive jaundice. And from this obstruction, cholangitis patient may suffer from cholangitis or they may suffer from acute pancreatitis. And in our countries, gallstone is the main cause of acute pancreatitis. In Western countries, the alcoholism is the main factor for acute pancreatitis. But in our country, gallstone is the main cause. In the intestine, they may form biliointeric fistula or acute, uh, one of the largest, uh, larger stone may pass through the fistula and may obstruct the terminal ileum, causes acute intestinal obstruction. The condition is called gallstone ileus. So how will take the investigation help? First of all, plain radiography, 10% stones are radio, radio opaque and 90% is radiolucent. So plain radiography has very minimum role. And oral colos or intravenous cholecystography has the only hysterical interest. They are not performed nowadays. Ultrasonography has high sensitivity and specificity to diagnose gallstone and ecogenic structure is seen in the uh, ultrasonogram with posterior acoustic shadow of bile. This is the classical findings to diagnose gallstone. Differential diagnosis like acute appendicitis, duodenal perforation, pyelonephritis, pancreatitis should be excluded. And CT scan can diagnose this stone uh, only in 70% cases. And MRCP, this is the picture of uh, ultrasonography, color Doppler ultrasonography uh, is available easily, uh, um, uh, can be purchased by our patient. It is cheaper and uh, available in everywhere in our country. So uh, we can um, uh, diagnose um, gallstone disease even in the uh, upujula level at this time. This is the picture of MRCP. MRCP, preoperative MRCP is advocated in some countries. This MRCP or magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography based on MRI, where this MRI is give clear picture where hydrogen concentration is more. As bile contain abundant bile acid, bile salt, where proton or hydrogen concentration is more. So no imaging is more superior than MRCP at this time. And MRCP can visualize entire biliary tree clearly. This is very helpful for surgeon to make a mapping preoperatively for cholecystectomy. But still MRCP cannot prevent bile duct injury. So how? Paroperative bile duct injury can be prevented. This can be prevented by latest technique that is use of fluorescent dry, that is indocyanin blue is injected intravenously that gives a clear image of the entire biliary tree during operation and surgeon can easily perform this col uh, safe cholecystectomy in the Western countries. But the technique is still costly for our uh, patient. So due to financial constraint of the patient, we cannot advocate routinely MRCP or routinely fluorescent imaging. This is a case of situs inversus where gallbladder was situated in the left, uh, left side and uh, we, uh, the patient uh, was situs inversus totalis. Uh, so we performed laparoscopic cholecystectomy uh, of this patient. Now the treatment of options of gallstone disease. The main stay of treatment is surgery. That is the cholecystectomy. But 
still there is some role of medical treatment as well as nitrotripsy medical treatment is done by arsodeoxycholic acid it is a bile acid and it sometimes dissolves or disintegrate stone and therapeutic indications are ball stone less than 5 mm with devoid of calcium component so if a stone is radio opaque or the stone that contain calcium arsodeoxycholic acid is not suitable option for that patient lithogenic bile bile is already lithogenic where cholesterol fragment is more in that situation lithogenic bile is precursor of gallstone formation so arsodeoxycholic acid reduce the lithogenicity of this bile biliary sand and sludge after a episode of cholecystitis there is stagnation of bile and bile sand or bile sludge biliary sludge is formed this biliary sand or biliary sludge is the precursor of gallstone so arsodeoxycholic acid is helpful in this situation radiolucent gallstone in patient with a functioning gallbladder but unfortunately only 15% patient are found with a functioning gallbladder with gallstone disease why the remaining 85% patient are non functioning gallbladder one of the reason is the neck is if neck is obstructed so if we give arsodeoxycholic acid no bile enters into the gallbladder so it will not helpful for the patient next if there is a multiple stone that is already occupy whole of the gallbladder in that situation gallbladder is already gone to chronic fibrosis and lumen is already occupied with stone and few bile may enters into the lumen so in this situation this uh, therapy is not helpful another situation chronic cholecystitis where gallbladder is al uh, already fibrous in that situation the uh, arsodeoxycholic acid is not helpful as the gallbladder is already non functioning the time required for dissolution of gallstone is likely to range from 6 to 24 months so we have to wait 24 months that is 2 years but what is the practical scenario to use this drug for a long time some of the patient may come to us with complication like empyema like gangrene perforation sometimes there is there may be fistula is formed intra biliary fistula or sometimes it transformed into carcinoma so before use of arsodeoxycholic acid for treatment of the fit patient that should be rational this arsodeoxycholic acid can be used empirically to those patient where cholecystectomy is contraindicated due to a strong comorbidity of the patient another option is lithotripsy unfortunately isolated lithotripsy or extracorporeal shock wave lithotripsy has very few role to remove the stone because after lithotripsy fragment of the stone remain in the gallbladder this fragment may act as a needus for future stone formation so after lithotripsy if we give arsodeoxycholic acid that is helpful for the patient and and success rate is marginal that is 50 50 and the therapeutic duration is 9 month that is arsod after esw arsodeoxycholic acid should be given 9 month and the result prognosis after withdrawal of the after uh, finishing of the course 50% gallstone recur within 5 years now the standard treatment is cholecystectomy is the most common perfor uh, operation performed by general surgeon since first cholecystectomy was performed in germany by lenzenberg in 1882 still it is the best choice of treatment for the gallstone disease and first laparoscopic cholecystectomy was performed by mure in lyon city of france 
in 1987. There is a number of uh, con indication of cholecystectomy for the uh, patient for different reason, like carcinoma, like other conditions, ad adenomyosis of the gallbladder, or like uh, other uh, in other cards, uh, pancreatic cancer where radical operation uh, as a part of radical operation, cholecystectomy can be done. But for the stone disease, the indication are fuse that are first of all, if cholelithiasis, there is single stone greater than two centimeter, multiple gallstone as gallbladder is occupied with multiple stone, one of the stone may slip into the biliary uh, common bile duct and that may cause obstruction. So cholecystectomy is the standard treatment. Diabetic patient with gallstone, diabetic patient are immunocompromised. So if there is gallstone, it acts as a needle of infection, patient suffer from the recurrent attack. So uh, if uh, patient is uh, though asymptomatic and with diabetes, cholecystectomy can be done safely. Incidental gallstone found in other operation. If uh, uh, other, in uh, other abdominal surgery, there is gallstone, cholecystectomy can be performed safely. Patient with calcific gallbladder, that is porcelain gallbladder is a pre-malignant condition that may transform into carcinoma. So cholecystectomy is the standard treatment. Gallstone patient taking somatostatin analog. This is also an indication of cholecystectomy. Four port laparoscopic cholecystectomy is the gold standard treatment for elective procedure because as there is port is four, when there is port is four, the surgeon get maximum benefit to perform the dissection. And it is also safe for the surgeon, but consideration with advantage like a small incision, less pain, faster return to activity, shorter hospital stay, decreased total cost, low morbidity, laparoscopic cholecystectomy can be performed by two port, even single port also. Complications among a number of complication of laparoscopic cholecystectomy, bile related is bilioma, biliary peritonitis, bile ascites, and vascular injury, right hepatic artery or portal vein injury may be life threatening. We have performed four port laparoscopic cholecystectomy safely, then we have performed three port laparoscopic cholecystectomy routinely and two put laparoscopic cholecystectomy also performed by our surgical team. This is a picture of two put laparoscopic cholecystectomy after a skin closure and this is the final scar after six months. This is the specimen of two put laparoscopic cholecystectomy. This is a specimen of empyema gallbladder which was removed laparoscopically. This is Zhengzhou Medical University Hospital in Central China where I have trained endoscopic surgical procedure. And this is a 15,000 bedded hospital. Professor Bingrong Liu was our trainer who performed endoscopic cholecystectomy and also removed endoscopic removal of the gallbladder safely. This is his uh, endoscopic procedure where we attend. And endoscopic cholecystectomy during uh, endoscope is introduced orally, stomach is opened and cholecystectomy is performed and gallbladder is removed orally. And there is a study, Department of Surgery of California University in USA, they analyzed 381 endoscopic cholecystectomies. Their rate of conversion to open cholecystectomy was 3%. There were three post-operative fatalities and two fatalities were due to technical complication like intestinal injury and non-fatal technical complication five bile leaks that required treatment. But there was no common bile duct injury, but excessive caution to prevent common bile duct injury that is during dissection, they handle the tissue near the bile duct causes biliary, high incidence of biliary leakage. This is a result of endoscopic cholecystectomy and this procedure need very expertise. And it is totally skill dependent procedure 
and the procedure is totally restricted to unmarried young patient who try, uh, wants to avoid a scar because without doing any incision the gallbladder is totally removed so again uh, i asked my colleagues and participant uh, one proverb that is to become educated read good books and visit good masters so first of all good books as i have special interest to hepatobiliary surgery i have gone through essential surgical practice written by sir alfred kushieri who is the father of modern surgery and father of hepatobiliary surgery in uk bloomgard's liver biliary tract and pancreas very narrative book for hepatobiliary surgery and recent advance give the recent information about the hepatobiliary surgery surgery these three books is very informative and help us to save surgery and visit good masters first surgeon from the scotland and second american hepatobiliary surgeon and third professor kayo from china i met with them in different situation and thank you all thank you everybody for participating here and thank you again uh, square pharmaceuticals to arrange this type of seminar thank you professor dr nasiruddin mahmud such a nice presentation from अनुरोध Sir, I am Professor Sultana Momo. Sir, how can we differentiate biliary colic pain, or I mean, the pain is biliary colic, like, or the acute cholecystitis? Acute cholecystitis or biliary colic. Typically, the acute cholecystitis or gallstone uh, uh, infection is uh, presented uh, usually in the pain in the right hypogonadium, and that may radiate uh, sometimes uh, to the back. between the scapula sometimes in the tip of the right shoulder and biliary colic is termed what is biliary colic biliary colic means pain due to biliary obstruction this obstruction may be due to cystic duct obstruction this obstruction may be due to common bile duct obstruction if it is due to cystic duct obstruction typically it present in the right hypochondrium but it may be occur in the epigastrium and in the bile duct common bile duct obstruction the pain is usually in the epigastrium and the pain also may radiate to the back ekta likhe to question asche sir how we will manage biliary leakage of laparoscopic laparoscopic cholecystectomy so dr ashraful haq uh, very uh, nice question if the biliary leakage cannot be usually visual biliary leakage is detected post operatively so the leakage may be minor may be major leakage may be occur from accessory cholecyst to hepatic duct leakage may be of occur from major bile duct injury so it may present i have already mentioned in three way number 1 bilioma that is subhepatic collection of bile number 2 bile ascites whole abdomen is full of bile patient have few symptoms as the leakage is slowly first day 5 ml 10 ml 20 uh, gradually whole abdomen is filled with bile by that is bile ascites and patient is adapted with this bile and patient has mild jaundice another is acute presentation of biliary peritonitis bile is as bile is a corrosive it enters into the peritoneal cavity and patient may suffer from shock so whatever may be the situation if there is generalized peritonitis like bilioma like biliary peritonitis or bile ascites standard treatment laparotomy and drainage oil drainage of the subhepatic 
and uh, pelvic bile and thoroperitoneal toileting and after 6 weeks do a mrcp and mrcp give clear image of the biliary tree and the also can detect the level of injury which can be classified by bismarck classification and according to classification in most of the situation if the injury is uh, not uh, at right hepatic duct left hepatic duct or sometimes common hepatic duct ru and y hepatic jejunostomy is the standard treatment and if there is bilioma only subhepatic collection <coughs> subhepatic collection that can be managed by ultrasonic guidance of drainage by insertion of a drain and that can be also managed by laparoscopically insertion of a re laparoscopy that insertion of a subhepatic drain that if the facility two facility is not available we can drain it by open surgical procedure this is the standard treatment of bile leakage thank you sir may i draw your attention please yes oh uh, this is uh, professor dr lotip puya from dhaka as you are expert in uh, doing endoscopic uh, operation in china uh, you have mentioned uh, mrcp is the uh, diagnosis of uh, gall bladder stones uh, yeah. uh, would you please tell something about ercp yes previously uh, before the availability of the mrcp or invention of mrcp ercp has a place to diagnose and to manage the bile duct injury if the there is formation of bilioma and the leakage from the cystic duct only so we put a drain subhepatically by ultrasonic guidance and if we give a stent in the ampulla by ercp that can manage the situation so ercp stenting still has some role to manage the bile leakage or biliary leakage but after the availability of mrcp in diagnostic purpose it almost replaces the ercp in all situation to diagnose biliary stricture to diagnose biliary leakage in every situation so for diagnostic diagnostic purpose mrcp is the gold standard investigation but for therapeutic purpose ercp has few role if there is no generalized peritonitis thank you sir so, okay no, thank you sir for your great presentation जहांगीर आलम जुएल today's uh, live webinar the question is a calculus plus status and calculus plus status clinically this cannot be differentiated because patient present with plus status features of plus status the diagnosis is only confirmed after doing ultrasonography in a calculus plus status there is no stone in calculus plus status there is stone evidence of stone but one thing should be remembered in the situation of the patient if patient is immunocompromised like diabetic elderly in this situation a calculus plus status is more dangerous than the calculus plus status because due to their immunodeficiency the gallbladder may undergo gangrene perforation rapidly so ek uh, whenever uh, you diagnose a case of a calculus plus status with immunodeficient patient it should be treated vigorously proper nothing by mouth ng suction iv fluid and uh, antibiotic that is sensitive to biliary organism we should not compromise to treat this type of patient 
and if uh, some, somebody are reluctant to take the uh, hospital admission this should not be ignored and if you treat this type of patient in the home there may be give here situation always hospitalize the patient and treat vigorously and after treatment and pro with prompt and adequate treatment most of the calculus cholecystitis is subsided with time but calculus cholecystitis if there is calculus cholecystitis after an acute attack cholecystectomy is easy and safely performed within 24 to 72 hours but after 72 hours cholecystectomy is difficult as there is already uh, due to acute inflammation new vascularization fibrosis and uh, this type of uh, patient should be managed with elective cholecystectomy after 6 weeks thank you joel sir arekta question jodi kichu mone na korte yes sir onek ki stone hoy kintu oi je gramigonje jeta sadharonoto hoy je operation korte chay na sadharonoto tara oi bole je pathor golanor kono oshod ache kina so amra sadharonoto je kenodioxy pole kichu arsokol 150 300 mg paoa jay satisfying liba placebo hisebe taderke deya hoy actually jara stone format formation hoye jay তাদের ক্ষেত্রে স্যার ওই ড্রাগটা কতটুকু কাজ করে বা এই ক্ষেত্রে স্যার ড্রাগ আই হ্যাভ ইয়েস ইয়েস ভেরি গুড আই হ্যাভ প্রেজেন্টেড ইট ইন মাই আর্লিয়ার পার্ট অফ প্রেজেন্টেশন আরসো ডিঅক্সি কোলিক অ্যাসিড হ্যাজ সাম ডিফিনিটিভ ইন্ডিকেশন লাইক ইফ স্টোন ইজ লেস দ্যান 5 মিমি এন্ড ইফ স্টোন হ্যাজ নো ক্যালসিয়াম কম্পোনেন্ট গল বর্ডার শুড বি ফাংশনিং ইফ গল বর্ডার ইজ নন ফাংশনিং ইফ ইউ গিভ আরসো ডিঅক্সি ইট cannot enter into the gallbladder the stone cannot be dissolved so and uh, it can be safely used to those patient where patient is unfit due to strong comorbidity but in whatever the situation if the facility is available for cholecystectomy cholecystectomy is the standard treatment you should not delay the patient with arsodeoxycholic acid or delay the operation the treatment can offer with proper indication thank you but thank you, the efficacy 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 is 25% 25% is stone only dissolved by arsodeoxycholic acid and 50% patient recover within 5 years so treatment if you offer the treat, better treatment you give the suggestion to do cholecystectomy surgery is the the treatment ভালোলাগে very nice question uh, i have visited uh, uh, the, the city where uh, dr fedus wide uh, uh, is living uh, the abardin in scotland uh, he was uh, my senior uh, brother in kumila medical college so so uh, thank you uh, uh, fedus wide for participating uh, this uh, live webinar the post cholecystectomy syndrome is usually occur in few situation like if there is excessive remnant of the gall bladder or excessive remnant of the cystic duct number 1 if there is recurrent or residual stone in the cbd if there is biliary dyskinesia if there is biliary stricture these four situation where the post cholecystectomy syndrome is arises post cholecystectomy syndrome is the symptom complex that is mimicking or resemble to the patient as like before operation so the symptom that is present before operation that is also present after operation very ambiguous situation for the surgeon it also it can also occur if patient develop pancreatitis or chronic pancreatitis after operation and uh, the treatment is um, almost all treatment is available in our country first of all excessive remnant of the gallbladder or excessive cystic duct 
if the symptom is not resolved within one year, you can remove uh, in some situation where the empyema gallbladder, dense adhesion, acute cholecystitis attack. In this situation, we surgeons prefer to perform subtotal cholecystectomy to save the bile duct because bile duct and gallbladder is densely adherent. And this remnant of the gallbladder may produce post cholecystectomy syndrome. So after inflammation is subsided, after six months, you can remove the remnant uh, of the gallbladder, number one. And I have found three cases where subtotal cholecystectomy is performed and patients suffering from uh, attack of uh, cholecystitis uh, after uh, the operation. And I have uh, do open uh, um, surgical procedure to remove the remnant of the gallbladder, number one. Number two, biliary stricture. Biliary stricture usually occur in bile duct, not merely due to injury to the bile duct directly. In latest situation, after six weeks, the stricture may develop due to injury to the vessel, that is the colleducal artery uh, may be injured by the excessive use of diathermy or accidental use of spray mode of diathermy. So this type of stricture occur in later period. And for this type of stricture, you can evaluate the stricture, we can evaluate the stricture by MRCP. And after MRCP, according to grading, we can do RUNY, hepatic to me. The treatment is available in our country. Number three, biliary dyskinesia or motility disorder. This is another ambiguous situation. And we can improve motility by prokinetic drugs. And another is recurrent stone or residual stone two term, one term is residual stone. A residual stone is one where patients suffered from stone disease within two years of cholecystomy. After, within two years of cholecystomy, if patient have a stone in the biliary T, in the uh, uh, ultrasonographic scan, that is called residual stone. So this type of stone can be removed from the CBD by ERCP. ERCP is the standard treatment. And recurrent stone, that is stone formed in the CBD after two, two years. Today, I have seen a patient of cholecystectomy who was undergone cholecystectomy 10 years back. So this is a recurrent stone. This type of stone, firstly, can be oil managed by ERCP. If ERCP facility or expertise is not available, and nowadays in our country, ERCP and uh, to perform a safe ERCP expertise is available. If expertise is not available, we can do laparoscopic cholecystectomy. This is also uh, uh, safely performed by our surgeon, uh, even in Kumilla. And if laparoscopic cholecystectomy, uh, laparoscopic cholecystectomy is not possible, then we can do open cholecystectomy. This is uh, regularly performed by our general surgeon. So thank you, Dr. Fedos Wai, again to ask a nice surgical question. Thank you all. I mean, I mean, I mean, close for the very connect. If sir, uh, if you give a one chance, second chance to ask a question, uh, will you? Yes, sir. Oh, sure, sir. Oh, sir, um, Professor uh, uh, Nasiruddin Mahmoud, sir, uh, is there any natural treatment for uh, gallstone that you are all talking about the surgical methods uh, to remove it or uh, using the drugs? Yes, like, uh, or, or... Uh, Professor Lotib Bhuya, you are from the preventive medicine side, so I uh, think uh, you want to know, uh, is there any preventive medicine? Yes, there is uh, uh, obviously uh, some... Sir, uh, preventive medicine, yes, sir. Preventive is another one. That, uh, how can you prevent the uh, origin of the gallbladder, but uh, stone? But I am telling about uh, the... Natural treatment. treatment of, natural treatment of the gallstone. Yes, uh, in our country, the patient which we are dealing, sometimes uh, they... 
uh, uh, give the history uh, to take uh, some natural medicine but still uh, this type of medicine is not approved or mentioned in any standard surgical journal or any surgical book so uh, any uh, this type of medicine should not be used no sir uh, i am patient. not talking about the medicine no. i am talking about the, like a lemon do lemon no. have any any uh, impact on the goldstone sir lemon le le lemon uh, no there is no strong evidence of uh, lemon contains citric acid uh, inner mass uh, citric acid is helpful to remove some urological uh, or urinary tract stone but it has uh, no, still no role uh, to um, uh, treatment of the um, gallstone but uh, uh, one thing you should remember uh, there is some preventive uh, medicine like uh, one is uh, hyper estrogen that is oral contraceptive pill that um, um, causes excessive estrogen uh, uh, in the body of the patient this uh, hyper estrogen causes stasis of the bile from there so if uh, anybody uh, avoid uh, oral contraceptive pill uh, obesity uh, sedentary lifestyle uh, this um, um, also uh, inhibit uh, um, um, uh, hyperlipidemia state so uh, a patient can uh, reduce the chances of gallstone formation thank you sir just one one uh, addition sir that i know this lemon is increasing the production of bile who is dilute the bilirubin uh, so that causes uh, the treatment like also uh, to get rid of the gallstone i understand that sir okay a seminar is the place where uh, you can share your additional knowledge Uh, as you uh, give the information, we welcome your information. Thank you. Okay, bye. Thank you, sir. So, Joel Rana. Doctor Joel Rana. मुजिब भाई सम्मानित सभापति मजिबुर रहमान सर के अनुरोध জুয়েল রানা জি স্যার মনে হচ্ছে আছে লাইনে কিন্তু কথা শোনা যাচ্ছে না আর কি স্যার একটু আনমিউট করে কথা বলবেন হ্যাঁ একটু আনমিউট করে বলতে হবে বলো গুমতি হসপিটাল আছে তো হ্যাঁ স্যার কে দেখা যাচ্ছে এবং স্যার আনমিউট করেছে ইন্টার দ্বারা আছে जी आमिर सुनते बात से सर मुझे उस सर तो अने अनमेर टा उस्ते आसे किंतु सर कथा सुनते सर नमन होच्छ सर के मुझे सर के आमदे सुनते बात से अने आह 
আশিস স্যারকে বলছি স্যার মনে হয় শুনতে পাচ্ছেন আমরা কি স্কয়ারের প্রতিনিধি কথা বলবে পরে যদি স্যার এড হয় তাহলে কথা বলবেন হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ যে স্যার যদি পরবর্তীতে এড হয় আমরা কথা শুনবো স্যারের আমি এখন স্কয়ার ফার্মাসিউটিক্যালস যারা আজকে সুন্দর প্রোগ্রামটার ব্যাকগ্রাউন্ড থেকে আমাদের সাপোর্ট দিয়েছেন তাদেরকে কিছু বলার জন্য অনুরোধ জানাচ্ছি থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ ডক্টর জুয়েল রানা অ্যাকচুয়ালি উই লার্ন সো মাচ টু বে especially uh, including how to manage cholesterol disease with dedications uh, now uh, i would like to request today's uh, uh, our uh, divisional sales manager uh, mr millad bhai for uh, giving a thanks to all the participants and our uh, dedicated doctors thank you reza bhai assalam alaikum millad assalam alaikum honorable chairperson and a uh, great keynote speaker for your nice presentation on management of gall bladder gallstone and then update it's really an update we are enjoyed your presentation uh, especially thanks uh, progressive doctors forum kumilla uh, for their organized this type of uh, program and giving us the chance the chance actually question and answer session very nice আমি এ পর্যন্ত অনেকগুলি প্রোগ্রামে অ্যাটেন্ড করেছি ওয়েবিনার এবং জুম ফেসবুক বা অন্য ইয়েতে খুব নাইস প্রোগ্রাম নাসির উদ্দিন মাহমুদ স্যারকে অনেক ধন্যবাদ স্যার এবং এক্সপ্রেস আওয়ার গ্র্যাটিটিউড টু অল পার্টিসিপেন্ট ডক্টরস অ্যান্ড অনারেবল আওয়ার গেস্ট থ্যাংক ইউ ভেরি মাচ থ্যাংক ইউ ফর গিভিং আজ দ্য চান্স আসসালাম আলাইকুম হ্যালো মুজিবুর রহমান স্যার জয়েন করেছেন আমাদের সাথে উনি আনমিউট করেছেন হ্যাঁ শুনতে পাচ্ছি স্যার শুনতে পাচ্ছি আপনি জি তো ধন্যবাদ প্রফেসর নাসিরউদ্দিন মাহমুদ ফর এ নাইস প্রেজেন্টেশন প্রোগ্রেসিভ মেডিকেল এডুকেশন ইউনিট আমরা দীর্ঘদিন থেকে কুমিল্লাতে এর উদ্যোগে বিভিন্ন সেমিনার সিম্পোজিয়াম আমরা করছি এর আগেও এই করোনা কালীন সময়ে जयन कर দীর্ঘদিন থেকে ক্লাস বন্ধ লেকচার বন্ধ এই সমস্ত সেমিনার গুলো তারা অ্যাটেন্ড করতে পারে আমি অনুরোধ করব কোঅর্ডিনেটরকে ভবিষ্যতে যাতে এটি আরো ভালো করে প্রচার করা হয় কুমিল্লাতে তিনটি প্রাইভেট মেডিকেল কলেজ আমি একই সাথে একটি সরকারি মেডিকেল কলেজের সবাইকে যদি প্রচার করা হয় সেটি আরো সাকসেসফুল হবে সকলকে ধন্যবাদ জানিয়ে আমি বক্তব্য শেষ করছি আসসালামু আলাইকুম थैंक यू
স্যার আমরা কি শেষ পর্যায়ে চলে যাচ্ছি নাকি